Google Iraq, the first thing you see is this. You see war, terrorism, guns, danger. It's kind of the last place you think of as a tourist destination. But today, I came to Iraq to show you the Iraq beyond the war. The new Iraq that people haven't heard about and you probably won't see in the news. Hey, listen, the Iraq is danger country. But you see that the Iraq is safe. Say that. Yeah. Safe. Safe. Yeah. We think Iraq has no tourism because tourists were banned for 40 years. But now, for the first time in a long time, they have visa on arrival. Visa! We think as women, we have to cover up because it's a Muslim country. But we only had to at some mosques or very religious cities. All right, my friends, we are wearing a, what is this called? Abaya. Uh, abaya. A very intense abaya. I had to wear um, gloves because my nails are not allowed to be painted in the shrine. tomb shrine. Otherwise, you can dress how you want. I thought they might not like me because I'm American. But the first thing the Border Patrol said to me was... Welcome to Iraq. Thank you. I thought it would be full of military and checkpoints. And it was. But they were very friendly. This is a gift from you. Thank you, shukran. It's very nice. Thank you so much. People think women are probably at home. But I saw them out running their own businesses. Wow, she made this. Wow. I thought people would not want to be on camera. And while some women were shy, a lot of people loved the camera and asked for photos and selfies. Say hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> I thought there would be no parties, but we had the time of our lives singing and dancing at rap concerts. Hey. We have all the and now we are at a kite festival. Yes, indeed, a kite festival. For me, for me, I wanna As a vegetarian, I was worried there would be no vegetarian food. And to be honest, there wasn't a lot. But I had one of the best falafel sandwiches of my life with a delicious local mango sauce called Amba. This is delicious. This is the best food I've had in Iraq so far. And it was 35 cents. I thought people might be suspicious of foreigners, but I was invited for lunch over and over. Elina, you invited my house, please, for lunch. Wow, that was great, thank you. <laughs> People I met once came all the way to my hotel just to give me gifts. They gave me these presents. They're very cute, all these rings. Thank you for the gifts, very nice. And women I didn't know at all fixed my hijab for me when they saw me struggling with it. They don't want to be on camera, but they're helping me with my hijab. People said I wouldn't be safe. But when our car broke down, I actually hitchhiked and so many people stopped to help immediately. The car broke down and so I pulled over another car and now we are hitchhiking to the world's one of the most ancient cities and we have a nice new friend named Mohammed. I thought I would just see ruins because of the war, but instead I saw the most unbelievably beautiful mosques and amazing places like the marshlands filled with water. Ancient Babylon. Guys, this is a giant labyrinth. Can we do it? Or maze. You want to do it? Yeah, I love mazes. In my See you in five hours. And the biggest active cemetery in the world. But like in many countries, the best part of Iraq was its generous, open, and friendly people. So yes, you should be careful of Iraq, but not because it's dangerous, but because once you get there, you might want to stay forever. Adios, me gusta, and I'll see you in Iraq.